<laughs> Good morning, my friends around the world. We have a great pleasure having today Mrs. B. Green. Hi. <laughs> Mrs. B is an advocate of the cannabis cause in Australia. She has been working uh, deeply, uh, helping so many people. Um, and she's a fighter uh, in this cause that put us together. Um, looking forward to legalize the cannabis for so many people that are in need. But she will explain better than me. Welcome, B. <laughs> Thank I'm you. I'm I'm not, my apologies, B. I, we also have Mia Willow with us. She, she, she is so passionate about B's work that she suggested that we have to bring her on board. So what a great pleasure. Absolutely. Man. What a great pleasure. Thank you I appreciate the introduction. That's lovely. Yes. So I do understand your 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 uh, work as an advocate and a supporter of the legalized party in these coming elections. And yeah. I'd like to share with the audience your work and your vision and what you are what that heart is pumping for. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I guess, yeah, well, my journey started when I had just given birth to my oldest daughter um, and I quickly got diagnosed with Crohn's disease and that was acute Crohn's disease and I plummeted very quickly. Uh, I was very sick um, and I ended up weighing about 38 kilos. I couldn't eat. I could barely keep down water. Uh, my liver, my kidneys, they were all shutting down. Um, and I was being hospitalised every two to three weeks. Uh, I was non-responsive to all my pharmaceuticals. And um, it got to the point where, you know, I really did think I was going to die. My, my doctors pretty much told my mother, who was my main caregiver at that point, um, also to sort of go home and just make preparations and uh i begged her i always yeah i can't die mum like i just had a bub and i, I wasn't ready to die yet so, so we got to find something we got to find something <laughs> meanwhile i was always a chill father the answer was right in front of me but i had no idea that you made oil from it you didn't just smoke it right so um I was introduced to some people that taught me how to make oil. I started making my own oil. And since that day, I've never been back in hospital for my autoimmune. I do not take any pharmaceuticals now. I'm a hefty 75 kilo. I've had three more babies since that are all been full term and healthy. Um, yeah, my liver and kidneys, they, I mean, and they cop a bit of a flogging, but <laughs> they're certainly functional. So, um, with this kind of testimony, that's it, where it, I am right now. And so, it's it's years so forward. hard for me to understand why so many politicians and doctors are fighting so hard against this plant. Oh, well, you know what? It, it sacrifices their job. There's no profit in health. There's no profit in death. But they keep you in that nice little medium and they all they all got I a mean, piece the of the cash, I think. Um, that and, and, and what hemp, the crops of hemp could do for our country as well, you know, in the ways of textile or... Uh, making clothes or anything renewable and uh that thereabouts wipes out a lot of our exports and uh farming sort of agricultural land so i think they've got it uh monetarily to keep it uh out of grasp yeah yeah my little one and my littlest one's just coming through the door now big cranky's just woken up from a nap Hmm. It's, oh, it's all right. Let's just go and play outside on the swing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's role, my friend. 
Um. <laughs> yeah, I've, yeah, look, this is what I mean. I've, I've got to look after these four babies now and I'm just thankful that I'm still here and that is certainly just because of cannabis. Um, I mean, I mean, but... and, and then I was diagnosed 16 years, well, close enough to 16 years ago now. So, Wow, wow. wow. Wow, yeah. we, that I listen to this and and I listen to Mia and so many other testimonies that that's why we are here for. So yeah, so absolutely. That's what I'm here for. This is why I advocate. This is why I've done what I've done and followed around. You know, I've done hemp expos. I've fought the government. I've been protesting, and and now I'm a huge advocate for uh, for the legalized cannabis party. Australia so um, and and we, we've got upcoming elections so I hope we get a good swing this year because it does seem like our um, main populace is 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 waking up and and it's becoming the more norm and the more known um, whereas it sort of felt like five years ago we we're still back in the dark ages so mm. I feel that this this time around we might get a bit more of a swing and our voice might get heard yeah it's taken a long road but we're we're certainly making track well we started here in western australia with two seats now we got more seats in victoria and yep. we got people in we're gonna get two more this year wow. oh, we're gonna get more than that me i can feel it i can feel it in my bones yeah, <laughs> change is coming but uh, I would like to listen from you uh, with that passion and energy uh, message for the audience and everyone that may come across and listen, your invitation for people to vote for the party. Uh, look, I just, I just want people to know that even if you guys decide that it's not the answer for you, it is the answer for the majority of people out there. It has been the answer for a lot of us here and it will be the answer for not only our country but our peoples. And um, I just hate for anyone to leave it to that last moment to they realise, oh, oh, now we do need them and then come on board when someone that they love very dearly is so very sick and it becomes their last revenue or answer to something, um, I would hate for them to just join the cause then. Um, support your people, support your country, support the land, support your farmers and let's get it going because it's just too long, it's too late and people are just needlessly dying and suffering and sick and, and you know, n not being able to be out there in their community in whichever way, volunteering or working or whatnot because they can't, they're in bed. And cannabis could solve all of that. It could, it could solve um, a lot of our pollution, our land problems. So please just vote, vote, vote one, legalise cannabis. If not for you, do it for your best friend, your mum, your dad, your partner, whatever. Just yeah. do it. Agree, agree. What a beautiful world to be. And uh, would you like to add anything else for the audience? That I think you said it all. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, legalize cannabis and and please just start looking into it, research. And you know, we're not all stoners out here with bongs and joints. We're people just trying to get better from cancer yeah. and really serious illnesses. We're not just a bunch of idiots in the corner. You know, like we're real people. Agree. Agree. B, what a pleasure having you in Hemp Engineering Show. And Mia, wow, thank you very much. You, you're a star, B. I listen to you. Yeah. And, okay. I, 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 appreci I appreciate you having me on. I appreciate you helping getting the word out there and power to the people. Power to the people. That's all. Yeah, let's take it back. It's time. Thank take you. back our power. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Mia. Would you like to say something, Mia? No, I was saying vote one. How can I go after V? She's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, as cannabis shouldn't be the last resort. It should be our first choice or Absolutely. freedom of choice. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. I agree with you. Well, my friends, thank you very much. And 
I wish all the best for these upcoming elections and I truly hope that we get more seats and we bring this light to the world because we want every country to have a, a, a cannabis party that make the change that the humanity needs to reach millions. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. It's needed worldwide, but we focus at home and then we keep going. Love All it. right. Thank Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.